guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video this is uh, episode four of the declutter series and today we're going to be tackling my foundation setting spray primer drawer now i think this is going to be my second last video i think the last video is going to be my eyeshadow drawer um now i do have four other drawers that i could talk about but they're my reserve stock pr drawers so um I don't necessarily think they're part of my collection, they're just kind of like there, but if you guys would like me to talk about my PR drawer and organising my PR drawer, definitely let me know, um, that could be another series, um, but yeah, I'll see how you guys go, see how you guys like it, um, I don't know if you guys just like the organisation part of it, or it's, you know, the makeup and, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. As you guys can see, you're greeted already with a really grubby beauty blender foundation. Um, before I start the declutter and everything, I just want to get this off my chest because I always get very guilty. Um, I think it's just because I'm a hoarder. But if you guys work for any of the PR companies that have sent me these lovely, lovely products, do know that if you've got products made it here, it means I actually really, really like it. And that goes for you guys as well. Um, if you guys are wondering if I actually like those products, um, and I'm always very honest with you guys, um, but these are the ones that actually have made it into my collection, and these are the ones I really, really like. Much like with my other videos, I'm going to go through everything in here. I am going to create a few piles, one pile to keep, one pile to give away to friends and family, um, and one pile to just get rid of. Now, I'm getting rid of them either because because I can't use them anymore, um, because they're expired, or they're not my shade anymore, you know, a whole bunch of reasons, but I'm going to talk to you guys a bit. Okay, so as you guys can see, there's a lot of products in here. I am going to try and talk um, for most of it, um, because I know you guys really, really like that. Okay, so basically this drawer is my foundation drawer. It also has um, anything from skin primers, um, setting sprays, and brush cleaners as well in here. Um, Obviously, there are other products in here that you can already see that do not belong in here. Um, so I will be moving them along to the other drawers that they are supposed to belong in. Okay, so let's start off first with that really grubby <laughs> Beauty Blender Foundation. So this is the Bounce Foundation. I need to clean that. Um, do you know I do clean this every time I use it, um, just not after. So bad um so this one is a really good foundation um by the way if you guys would like me to do a foundation collection video um like talking about my top favorites of i don't know like full coverage foundations definitely let me know i think that's a really good idea um if i do say so myself <laughs> okay um we've got the mecca max foundation really good keeping that as well we've got the cat von d locket foundation one of my recent favorites actually it's actually really really good um we have got the um revlon insta filter photo ready um this foundation is actually really good i'm just not a big fan of the way of applying this like you basically have to turn this and the foundation comes out you know like those maybelline um instant age rewind concealers very similar mechanism uh, i'm just not a fan of that uh, i think this foundation has been in my collection for quite some time so i might just throw that away um I think with foundations, I'm a little bit, I'm going to be a little bit more ruthless, um, in terms of getting rid of stuff, just because some of them are quite old, and, you know, sometimes base products, if you've kept them for a little bit too long, they will break you out, so that's just my reasoning. Um, we've got the iHeart, no, not iHeart, this is Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. I actually really like this, uh, I'm going to keep that. Um, RCA Mano Colour Powder. Now, this doesn't belong here, but this stuff is amazing. If you guys are looking for a nice setting powder or baking powder, um, that stuff is really good. Um, and also really good for oil control. We've got another one of these, um, Scandinavia Post Makeup Recovery Sprays. Um, never really got to use this. I'm also going to give this away. Um, we have another Scandinavia product. This is the Makeup Finishing Spray Bridal. Um, this one's actually really, really good. Um, someone did say to me once that Scandinavia make the Urban Decay all nighter setting sprays um i don't really know let me know if you guys think that is the case um but yeah stuff's really good i'll keep that um we have got the rimmel london this is really old um need to shake that rimmel london lasting finish breathable foundation um this one's in 400 this is my summer shade so i'll keep that um we have a mac studio fix fluid nc30 og keeping her um We've got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting um, Concealer Foundation. This stuff, I was a bit skeptical when I tried it out. Um, I'm still, I should actually get to that review. I did promise you guys I was gonna do this review. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in this review, still let me know. Um, but yeah, this is a really good foundation. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a couple of these lying around in here somewhere. Um, we've got the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Really good, um, especially for mixing my own foundation shades. Sometimes, you know, I'm a little bit tan, a little bit paler sometimes. So 
those things are really handy i've got the Too faced hangover primer this stuff is actually really good um not very good for longevity but just you know hydrating the skin and prepping it for makeup application really good um, another primer that i really like is from benefit this one's the pearl professional um yeah the pearl professional really good okay next we've got the ordinary um silicone primer um honestly don't know how i feel about this um i think i'm just gonna get rid of this okay next i've got these two max fix pluses i have got the gold light and pink light um that's what happens to them when you don't use them for too long the sparkly shimmery bits just stick to them one side obviously easily fixed um but yeah really really good to add like um gold shine a pink shine to your skin definitely keeping those um let's see we've got a lipstick here from laura mercier um this doesn't belong here just gonna pop it back into the drawer um we have a mecca max um life proof liquid lightening um drops this stuff is really good. Again, I like to mix my foundations. Um, we have got a Kat Von D Locket setting spray. Um, this stuff is actually really good. Um, I have to say, I I like the the spray on this. It's a very fine mist, so you don't get huge water droplets on your face. Um, so really handy if you wear a foundation that kind of melts off or you know just comes off when you have any water on it so really good um also add some longevity as to how long never really tested it to be honest never paid attention um we've got the urban decay naked skin foundation now this is really old like i am telling you old um and this foundation shade is not my color anymore this is like yeah this is when I used to sunbake. Um, I'm getting rid of this because it is quite old. I'm pretty sure that formula has gone off. And we also have another foundation that I think really needs to go. This is the MAC um, Matchmaster foundation. This one is in number six. Um, back in the day when your girl used to tan, um, I could wear this shade. Now it's too dark. Um, I think I'm just going to keep onto the, like, the bottle so that I can do a return to MAC thing. Um, but yeah, this, this needs to go. Next, we've got a Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. This stuff is really good. Um, the shade's a little bit, like a tad bit light. Um, maybe as winter keeps going on, I might be able to wear this in maybe like another two weeks if we're still going that way. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. It's nice full coverage. Um, next, we've got a MAC um, Face and Body Foundation. This one is in C6. Again, another one foundation, another foundation that's a little bit too dark. But because this is quite a light coverage foundation, I can make this work. And I actually like using this as like a tinted moisturizer almost um, to give my skin a bit of a glow. Um, I think the formula is still okay for this. Um, so yeah, I think this is still good. So I am definitely keeping her. Great tip, um, if you guys would like to make your own tinted moisturizer, um, obviously you can use whatever foundation, but this goes really well with any sort of like cream um, moisturizer. Just a little tip. Um, we've got this Bourjois foundation. Now, I used to wear this all the time, um, but I think the formula has gone funny. I think the last time I wore it, it went a little bit too dark. Like, it oxidized, but I don't ever recall it oxidizing on me before. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of her. We've got a Revlon Photo Ready Prep Set and Refresh Mist. Now, as you guys can see, a lot of the sprays are losing their caps. I've lost their caps. Um, they're probably in here. I'll try and figure it out myself. Um, keeping that. Um, we've got this raw beauty, a raw organic. Um, now as you guys can see that's starting to develop like a funny color. So I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> we've got a NYX foundation. Um, I did a pretty positive review for this. Um, the more I've worn it, um, I do notice it's quite green on me. So I have to mix this with another foundation, but I really like the coverage on that one. Um, we've got a L'Oreal Turtle cover. Um, this foundation has been in my collection for quite some time. I think it's time to let go of that. Um, we've got a Revlon Candid. I really like this foundation, keeping that. Um, we've got a Marc Jacobs um, foundation. This is the Remarkable foundation. One of my favorites, definitely keeping that. Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to speed things up because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, we've got a Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This foundation is quite old, um, but I really like it still and it works well on my skin still. My favourite way to apply this is using a buffing brush, so keeping that. We've got this really old, grotty um, Revlon um, Clear Lash Glue. I'm getting rid of that. Um, just going to put it there. We've got a brush cleaner. This is one of my favourite ones to use. Um, I tend to wash my brushes maybe once 
every two weeks um but in between like eye brushes in particular i'll use this um uh, just to sanitize them so i'm keeping that still have a bit in there um we have got a setting spray from db now this one gives you a very very dewy and i mean dewy look so if you guys um use this and have this in your collection just use a very small amount if you guys don't want to look like an oil slick i've learned that the hard way um but it's a really really good one so i'm keeping that um we've got this one from a smashbox this is technically a primer water but i use it as a setting spray really nice and refreshing keeping that um we've got a mac strobe cream this one is the pink light one um, i really like mixing this in with my foundations like particularly matte foundations just to make it glowy um and also just on the tops of the cheeks for that natural um dewy highlight look um we have another Marc jacobs foundation i think the first one i showed you was the darker one this one's a lighter one um both keeping them both they're really really good at high coverage foundations we have got the benefit hello happy foundation i believe they've gone through a repackaging um or possibly reformulated as well um this is one of my favorite um light coverage foundations in the winter in particular because it's more neutral um and i tend to be quite neutral in winter um next we've got the l'oreal pro glow foundations now i heard somewhere that they've discontinued this um which is quite a sh quite sad because this is actually quite a good foundation i'd say this is a medium coverage foundation um i'm keeping them both um because i like to mix my foundations i'm kind of in between the two and i, I like the formula um we have a revlon lipstick doesn't belong in there we have got another bourgeois foundation. Uh, this one is the Healthy Mix um, Serum, I believe. I think the other one I showed you was the Healthy Mix Serum. This one's just a normal Healthy Mix. Um, I don't tend to wear this. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, we have got the BYS setting spray. This is actually okay. Like, it's nothing special. It's just a normal setting spray. Um, I'm going to pass this along to a friend who might want to use them. As you guys can see, I have a lot of setting sprays, so I can probably say goodbye to a couple of things um this one doesn't belong in here this one is a nyx lip topper i believe i'm not really sure i'm putting that away for now um we have got a nyx hd foundation this stuff is actually really nice um the problem with this is it's too dark and i think this is quite old so i'm just going to get rid of that as well so we've got some maybelline dream satin liquid foundations i actually really like the formula of these um unfortunately i don't think um either shade works for me um on their own i have to mix them together um but i definitely enjoy the formula and definitely um more on the lighter coverage side so i'm definitely keeping these two still next we've got the match perfection foundation from rimmel london um this one is a foundation that i used to wear when i used to tan i don't tan anymore so i am not going to keep this anymore i'm just gonna pass that along possibly to a friend um and then i also have this breathable foundation this is in 303 this is actually my shade so keeping that then we have the urban decay all nighter foundation girl this is really good i'm keeping that as well um we've got see i told you we've got a couple of these like nyx foundations so i'm keeping that um i've got a i think this is empty um yeah i think this is empty i'm just keeping the bottle for a return to back to mac thing um studio fix fluid really really good um og um we've got another setting spray this one's about to go i should probably remember to use this so that i can finally get rid of it this is the dewy setting spray from nyx a really good one um keeping it just so i can finally get rid of it um or use it up sorry not get rid of it um also three as you guys can see this one is sealed i'm going to give this away to a friend um we've got a gerard cosmetics this is one with nikia joy um like a collaboration it's like the rose scented one there's a tiny tiny bit left um again i'm going to keep that just so that i can use it up another setting spray is this one from rimmel london hashtag um fix and go um you can use this as a setting spray and also a primer um i tend to use it just as a setting spray works really well These foundations from maybelline these are the cushion foundations now um i believe i'm in the shade sun beige and i I think this is still okay um i'm just not a big fan of the application process of this but this foundation is actually quite nice on the skin quite luminous um yeah i'm keeping this one because this is my shade um this one is still sealed i think i got this as a pr package actually um this one is a little bit lighter i think um so i'm just going to give that away to a friend who might use it um oh another dream satin liquid and um, this one's definitely much darker i use this to kind of like cream contour um again another nyx one this one i think this is empty i don't know why i kept that okay that one's from ultra three by the way if you guys are curious um 
Let's see. Okay, next we've got an assortment of these DB oh, designer brand foundations. Now, I think one of them is a primer, and the, this is the matte one. Um, the matte velvet, I actually don't mind. I actually enjoy it, so I'm keeping that. Um, but the rest of the Dewy foundations and the primer, I'm not going to keep because, honestly, these guys are quite shiny, and it makes me look really, really oily, even though I've powdered heavily. Um, I don't know. It's just not for me. Um, I don't know why I kept them, but I think it's time to finally say goodbye to them. Um, but again, they were lovely foundations. But again, they were lovely foundations. They just weren't for me. Um, Kylie lip pencil. Not doesn't belong in there. We've got this brush. I think this is from Mac. Okay. Um, I think this came in a palette, so I'm gonna put that away. Okay. Next, this foundation from Fenty. As you guys can see, there's like a white liquid in there. Um, it's not the foundation itself breaking apart, it's me um, adding a lot of like liquid whitening drops um, in here just to make this foundation lighter. I chose a shade a little bit too dark for myself, I chose 360 which is way way too dark. Um, and I thought I would add the liquid um, illumin. I thought I would add the liquid lightness in there, but it didn't really work. They wouldn't really mix. Um, so I'm safe to say I've ruined this foundation. Next, we've got this foundation from Elf. Um, this is the oil-free SPF 15 foundation. I really like Elf. Um, the only problem I have with their foundation ranges is that they tend to be quite neutral, quite pink toned sometimes, and I just can't wear them. Um, so this foundation itself beautiful, but I just can't stand the colour match. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, we've got the Mecca Max foundation. This one is um, this is much darker. I don't really have any friends that might want to wear this because all of my friends are a lot fairer or around my colouring. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, we've got some Estee Lauder Double Wear Water Fresh foundation. Um, I didn't really mind this foundation. Um, I... Look, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Again, kind of the same as the DB one. It was very, very um, shiny, quite illuminating, and I'm just not the demographic for it. Um, but it was beautiful. Going to get rid of it, though. Um, I've got the MAC um, Studio Sculpt Foundation, one of my favourite full coverage foundations. Honestly, one of the best. Here I am saying that I'm not going to talk about everything in this drawer, and I've pretty much spoken about everything. Anyway. I'm on a roll. We're going to keep talking. Um, we've got the NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. One of my favourite foundations. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of oil. Um, I have found with this particular foundation, if you don't sit, them, sit it upright and you leave it like, lying down like that, when the foundation starts to break apart, it um, the oils come out. It's really strange. Um, I don't know if it's just a packaging issue um, with my particular bottle, but I still really like this foundation. And no, it's not off. Um, it just has that tendency of just breaking apart when you don't use it for too long. Um, we've got the LA Girl Pro HD foundation. This one, again, another shade that's a bit too dark for me. I definitely enjoyed the formula. Um, I do want to try um, one that's more my shade, um, but I'm definitely getting rid of that. We've got some lashes from Daiso. Um, I think I was gonna do this, I think I was gonna use these for a video, like trying out Daiso makeup, but just never came together. I mean, those lashes actually look pretty decent. Um, I am usually the first to bag out any sort of like Asian brand lashes um, that are just like these really thin strips and just like really spiky. I just don't like them for myself. Um, but this one actually looks okay. Um, I'll keep that in mind for another video. Um, there's an empty container for a NARS thing that I received from Mecca like a while ago. Um, we've got the Kat Von D Locket um, Primer. Um, this one, with the foundation, not a huge fan, honestly. Um, I don't know, I think my skin isn't that dry for those two together to work well. But this with other foundations, the bomb, um, as long as they're not super matte. Um, yeah, definitely keeping that. We've got the MAC Hyper Real Foundation. This one is in gold, rose gold. This stuff is beautiful. I don't know why they call, they call this a foundation because I don't think you'd be able to wear this as a foundation, but um, as a liquid illuminator, this is stunning. Sickening. I am keeping her. Right, we've got another locket foundation. I think this is a really, really dark one that I purchased ages ago. Um, I'm going to get rid of that because it's old and it's not my shade. Um, this is the Mecca Max foundation. This is the shade I'm in, number seven. It's beautiful. As you guys can see, there's a tiny bit left. Um, I should remember to use that so that I don't waste it. Um, we've got a TBX brush cleaner. Again, well loved. As you guys can see, there's a fair bit left, so I'm keeping that. 
Um, let's see, we've got a couple of lippies in here that just do not belong in here. So I am just going to take them out. Another Beauty Blended Bounce Foundation. This one is in 250. One shade that's really, really light for me. Um, actually, my sister might be able to wear this. So I'm going to see if she wants that. So I'm going to put that away. Um, my sister, if you guys don't know, is much fairer than me. Um, we've got the Waterlight Foundation and Concealer. Ooh, the concealer's already broken apart. Um, but still, you can wear that. Um, not a big fan of the concealer, um, honestly. So I'm just going to get rid of that. But the foundation is lovely. Another one of those lightweight um, or light coverage foundations um, that I use. Um, just for a natural look I'll keep that um, this one I believe is empty don't know why I kept that so I'm just gonna get rid of that don't know what lid that is for um, the makeup revolution bake and finish now this I thought was gonna be a really good alternative to um, like the Alice Mayno color powder but this one actually gives you a white cast um, if you guys have a tanned complexion like myself um, don't know how I feel about this. I do want to keep it for um, like when I do special effects, sort of like makeup or like really creative makeup looks. So, um, you know, when I use a white base and I just want to set it, I think I'll keep that for that. Um, okay, this foundation, uh, Lancome Taint Idol. Now this foundation, Ah, oh, love, love, hate relationship for this. Um, love it because the coverage is great. Hate it because the scent. It is way too strong. Um, it literally smells like an entire bottle of fragrance has been thrown in there. Um, which isn't a bad thing, honestly. Um, this foundation is absolutely lovely, but for me, I just can't stand the scent. And I believe it's kind of like a rosy scent, and I just can't stand rose scents. That's just a personal thing. Um. We've got the Bobbi Brown Longwear Even Finish Foundation. Um, I did a review on this like ages ago. Um, this is okay. I don't really mind it. Um, the shade's too dark, unfortunately. Um, so I have to mix this in with the lighter one. Now, maybe I can mix this in with a light Bobbi Brown shade. I might get my perfect shade. That's a good idea. So we've got the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. One of my favorites. This one is in number sat and um, number sound shade sand um i really like this um, unfortunately this is my summer shade um i really need to go back in store and get color matched and get one that's a bit lighter this is one of my favorite medium coverage foundations it's so beautiful on the skin and i don't know it just makes your skin look nice and hydrated okay we're almost done okay so these products obviously do not belong in here um a couple of caps and we've got this photo ready um foundation from revlon um this shade's way too dark. Again, don't know who I can give this away to, but I do enjoy the formula of this. Um, maybe I need to get a lighter shade. I don't even know what shade this is. Um, but yeah, really, really lovely foundation. This foundation, um, I did a review on this ages ago. I, I Look, I don't think this foundation is good anymore. Like, this is, like, at least three or four years old now, and I think the air pump's already broken. I can't even pump any product out. Lyca Gel is a really good um, post-laser, post-procedure type foundation. Um, I remember the PR company approached me like ages ago, um, but it's really good full coverage as well. Um, I think the shade range is a little bit limited from memory, but this stuff is really good. Um, again, old and the packaging I think is finally given up, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, as you guys can see, this drawer is quite messy, so I'm just going to quickly clean this up, and then I'm going to put in the foundations that I'm keeping. I'll try and put them in order. I'll try. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Whoa. You shine. This is what's happened so far and this is definitely one of those drawers that's definitely going to need some organization pieces um so that way i can actually organize this properly but right now i've just kind of like organized it this way so um these are the foundations that i tend to use the most um so i've got them pretty much just there so th that's the chair that i sit in and um, that way i can just quickly grab them um and then the setting spray that i need to use up first i've put them up 
here on top so that I can grab them. Um, and then all the tube things, um, like squeezy tube products, um, I put them there. Um, there's a mixture of primers there and also foundations. This is another foundation that's a bit too tall, so it just literally hits that um, that top desk or the desk above it, so can't really have it standing up. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on how um, and what kind of organisation pieces I can use for this, definitely let me know. Uh, I know you guys have mentioned Kmart um, in a couple of my videos, um, so I definitely would really appreciate if you have like um, specific ones, um, especially if you have like Alex drawers as well, because um, having the exact same drawers and seeing what you guys um, and seeing what you guys um, use to organise and how you organise it is very very helpful for me. But yeah, guys, this is the second last entry to the Declutter series. The next one is going to be my eyeshadow drawer, which I am dreading because I love a lot of those eyeshadow palettes. Much like my foundations, I have a lot of love for the products, so oh, it's going to be really hard. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys did. Tell me down in the comment box down below, have you guys recently done a declutter or will you be doing a declutter anytime soon? Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.